I'm pretty excited. Everybody knows I'm a huge supporter of the Zobi Productions website. I'm a huge supporter of their mystery boxes, their autograph pre-orders, their autograph sales. They now have their own uh, Shop Zobi auction website for autographs. And there's actually a shortage of mystery boxes in the industry that has to do with metal, that has to do with music, has to do with rock and roll. And I think Zobi hopefully has filled in that niche that a lot of us are hoping for. So they actually came out with a mystery box. Zobi goes metal. A freaking heavy metal mystery box. Everybody knows my favorite kind of music is like heavy metal. Like I grew up in the 80s and 90s. I was a kid in the 80s, teenagers in the 90s. My favorite bands of all time were bands like Metallica and Slayer and Pantera. Um, just growing up during that time. Uh, like my, some of my favorite guitarists of all time are Zach Wilde and uh, Dimebag Daryl. Um, I could just go on and on and on. But so they, they started doing pre-orders March 1st. They actually sold out during pre-orders. Uh, this is a limited edition mystery box that includes rock music theme related collectible items centered around authentic musician autographs. So it includes one authentic autograph from a lead singer of a popular metal band authenticated by JSA. You have one metal inspired t-shirt, one guitar pick from a guitarist straight from their collection. That's interesting. I didn't even read that actually when I popped this. A, a guitar pick from the guitarist collection of guitar picks and one exclusive art print paying tribute to one of the legends of metal. There's a lot of legends of metal. It was only $40 per box, okay? And I actually used my own promo code that I have, Kix10, that is K-I-C-K-S-1-0. I saved 10% off this box. I got this box for only $36. You can become a Zobi supporter for like six bucks a month and save 20% off of the entire, or most things on the website. So if you're a Zobi supporter, you could have got this box for $32. So you can save a little bit of money, become a Zobi supporter, use or use my promo code for 10% off. So I actually got this box for $36. I'm super excited to see the first ever Zobi Goes Heavy Metal Mystery Box. I'm very excited to see who is the autograph of. Who is the pick of? The a guitar pick from the player's own personal collection? That's awesome. Hopefully it's Zach Wild. So it looks like on top. Of course, my favorite guitar that I have in my collection, I have a, a, a Gibson Zach Wilde Les Paul. Things beautiful is the bullseye guitar. I'm sure a lot of people have seen this guitar in pictures, but you didn't know actually what it was, but it's kind of like an off white cream colored with the black, and it literally looks like the, you know, like the Les Paul body style with the bullseye, with the active 8185 pickups in it. Beautiful guitar. It's the best sounding guitar I've ever Ever played plays like it plays like a dream honestly it's it's my favorite so we will actually I feel right on top this must be the monthly pin I feel a t-shirt let's pull out this monthly pin it's, it's right on top of the box and okay I, I see the pick and we have a patch I don't remember saying anything about a patch I guess it's something extra cool let me see who this pick is from. Oh, Randall White Soul. Um, War Machine, Randall White Soul. He's, what band is he in? Randall White Soul. That's what it looks like. It might not pick it up very well on camera. I might just have to zoom in during the editing to show you this pick. Randy White Soul. What band is he in? I'm drawing a blank. I gotta, I'm, I'm curious now. I gotta find out. <laughs> Give me a minute. Is in the in this moment. That's right. I was drawn a blank. He is in the band in this moment. And there's the back of it says Randy White. So that's actually freaking awesome. It's from his own collection. So cool. And anyway, let me keep going. Here's a patch. This looks like that dude from Limp Biscuit, I think. I'm drawing a blank of his name. Um the lead guitarist from Limp Biscuit. That's who it looks like. I could be off on that though. 
It looks like the Limp Biscuit guy. Could be off though. Let me put the, the guitar pick back in here so I don't lose it. Next, we're gonna do the t-shirt. Is it black? Yes, it's black. I like my black t-shirts. And who is this? I'll show you first. Who is this shirt of? Nice thick. Sure feels like a 100% cotton Gildan shirt, which most of my shirts are actually are Gildan brand. And who is this of? Okay, that's Dimebag Daryl. That's freaking awesome. One of my favorite guitars of all time. You know, on this, that's ultra cool. You actually have the Dimebag Daryl, like the Dean guitar on the, on the top of the head of the, the guitar. That shape right there. You see that if you, if you play guitar, if you're a fan of Pantera, a fan of Damage Plan, which was one of his other bands, or just Dimebag Daryl, that shape, you already know that is Dimebag. Then you got the Rattlesnake. That's all a part of kind of like the Pantera look. And actually, if you look in there, you can actually can see Dimebag in the actual Dean guitar head right there. Cool shirt. That is awesome. Like, I am going to rock this t-shirt. And if you're a fan of Pantera or Dimebag, Vinnie Paul, you should know that that shirt from like a mile away who that shirt is. That's, that's cool. I like that shirt. Okay, here's the art print. Show you first. Oh, it's looking at me. I actually saw it. You can tell. I just looked at that for like a second and I can already tell that was Rob Zombie because the X on his head. That's a cool art print. That's neat. I, I wish Rob... Zombie would actually do autograph signings at conventions, but he actually has very bad social anxiety. And that's why um, he's talked about he will never do like a convention, something like that, because crowds, he has problems with large crowds. So that stinks because I've always wanted to meet Rob. I saw him in concert probably 15 years ago. It was Rob Zombie and was it Slayer, I think? Rob Zombie and somebody. Anyway, but... Yeah, that's a, that's a cool art print. It was uh, drawn by Andrew Sanchez. Very cool. But yeah, I want to meet Rob someday. So all this for 36 bucks. We still have an autograph in here. I'll show you first. Who is it of? JSA Authenticated. Oh, nice. That is Maria Brinks. I actually met her back in 2012, 2013. 13 I think it was I actually met her that is Maria Brinks she was ultra nice in person and I actually I actually already have two 8 by 10 signed by her whenever I met her um, yeah she was ultra cool uh, they had just come out with their first album around that time within the first probably six months or so I bet and uh, yeah super cool so I'm happy with that a hey, um, Maria Brinks autographed by herself. Probably worth like 30, 40 bucks, I bet. Very cool. That's a cool photo, too. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. It has kind of a chrome look to it. It looks very, like, it looks shiny chrome. But let's see. Where is the cheat sheet? That's the last item in the box. Here is the cheat sheet. So, we had a possibility of three different photos i got the one that's in the middle and that's probably my favorite out of all three that's that was probably like my least favorite one the one that's like all zoomed in on her that one's really cool and that one's actually that one is actually honestly that was the coolest one and this patch it is west borland it's a three inch patch inspired by limp biscuits guitarist west borland i thought that, that looked like the limp biscuit guy then, of course, the graphic T features an exclusive design inspired by Pantera's guitarist, Dimebag Daryl. Then your guitar pick comes directly from the personal collection of Randy Whitesoul. And then the Rob Zombie art print. So, I got all that for only $36. That was a really good box. Just these two. Honestly, this shirt would cost you $20 to $25 in stores. This autograph by her, that's probably good, like, what, $30, $40. Bucks. So, I'd say these two combined are probably like $55, $60. You have good value just these two things. You throw in a guitar pick from the actual guitarist himself, the print, the patch. I'd say it's probably a box worth maybe about $70 or so that you could have gotten for full price for $40, or I got it for $36, or a Zobie Support, you get it for $32. So yeah, this was a crazy, crazy box. I really liked it. This was fun. 
I hope that Zobi does more of these boxes. Um, I know how fast this sold out. I know that they're going to do some more metal boxes. This sold out extremely fast. And I would like to see him kind of dabble maybe in some rock and roll. Maybe, you know, even some country. That'd be kind of cool. Different, because there's not a whole lot of boxes like this out there. And I think that this could fill like a niche that is missing in the mystery box world. So anyway, I'll see you next time with another Zobi metal box. I'm out.